Waukesha County Sheriff's Department says the mother of missing teen Elizabeth Schoaf received a text message from her daughter. Authorities believe the girl was abducted and are looking for this man, Vincent Villa, in connection with her disappearance. I'm like scared because I'm like, does this person know that like she sent the text message now? Like if he sees that, what is going to happen? You know, all we could think about is, is her safety, basically, you know. If she was being held by somebody, they see the news, them releasing it, they could have caused her harm. It was a risk, but a risk worth taking because we felt like we had a pretty good idea of just what a coward Vincent Filial was. I'm thinking, okay, now he knows we know who he is. Now he's gone from a kidnapper, if he does anything to her, to a murderer. As soon as it was daylight enough, we started out in a line search. And there were several of us on the line. I was just on the end of the line. And we'd only been in the woods a short period of time when I thought I heard something. So I made everybody stop, and I heard it over and over. At that point, we shifted towards uh, where the voice was coming from, and we were pretty close to it, and we were mindful that there were supposed to be bombs in the area. When I first heard the voice yelling, I remember thinking to myself, God, let this be her. Let her be her, let her be okay. I just recall breaking the wood line and seeing Elizabeth standing at the top of the hill at the mouth of the bunker. So I went up to her and, and hugged her neck and we got her out of there. And I just recall turning around behind her and seeing what looked like the mouth of hell. My name is Elizabeth Schoff, and on September 6, 2006, I was kidnapped and held in an underground bunker for 10 days. I tended to be one of the last few people off of the bus. It would stop at the main entrance to our neighborhood. As we were getting off the bus, we would all walk up the road together. And on that day, my friend's brother actually showed up and offered a car ride. I was like, no, I'm good. And they got into the car and left, and I kept on walking. Right when you could about see the house, somebody approached me out of the woods to my right. He introduced himself as Kershaw County Police. He told me that there was marijuana out on our property and the other police had my brother with them. And almost immediately when he mentioned my brother, I was concerned if my brother was okay. So I agreed to approach him and then he immediately placed handcuffs on me and then had this little rope with a device, told me it was a bomb and put it around my neck and told me that if I did anything out of line that he could easily use the bomb. And then he began to walk me into the woods. I had a gut feeling that I had made a bad decision. Mm -hmm. 